Maybe you need to take a picture of your computer screen. Regardless of whether you're using a Mac or Windows, you can take what's called a screenshot, also known as a screen grab. We'll show you how to do this on both operating systems using their built-in applications. Say you want to screen grab this web page on your Mac. In the dock at the bottom of the screen, click the launch pad. This will bring you to your applications. The one you want is called Screenshot. If you don't see it right away, click Other and you might find it there. Now the application is in use. It's currently in Capture Entire Screen mode. You'll notice that the arrow turns into a camera icon. From anywhere on the screen, click once and it will capture the whole thing. The picture will automatically save to your desktop. If you want to take another, you'll need to reopen the application. Other options include Capture Selected Window and Capture Selected Portion. Let's try Capture Selected Portion. This allows you to take a screenshot of a specific part of a window if you don't need the entire thing. You can change the screenshot's dimensions by clicking and dragging its corners. Once you've selected the portion you'd like to screen grab, click Capture in the toolbar. Once again, the screenshot will be saved to your desktop. To preview them, simply click on the screenshots. If there's one you don't want, you can drag it to the trash can. Now let's see what this looks like on a Windows PC. The application is either called the Snipping Tool or Snip and Sketch, depending on which version of Windows you have. You can search for it in the lower toolbar, or you can click the Start button and find the app in the menu. This version of Windows has Snip and Sketch. Click the blue button that says New, and you'll see the screen darken. There are a few different options in the toolbar. You can take a rectangular snip, a freeform snip where you can draw the edges of your picture, a window snip in which you focus on a specific window, or a full screen snip. Let's take a rectangular snip. Click and drag the plus sign to select the portion of the screen you'd like to take a picture of. On release, it will take the screenshot. From here, you can use different editing functions, or you can simply save it by clicking the Save button. Type your file name and select the file type. It's also good to notice or select where the file is being saved so you can easily find it later. To learn more about taking screenshots and other tech tips, check out our free tutorial at gcfglobal.org. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.